Welcome back. Let's get a check of your weather with ABC4 forecaster Bob Bedore. He is in for Thomas this morning. And Bob, how's this Thursday looking so far? Uh, it is looking amazing. Uh, it's a chilly start to the day. In fact, Deer Valley, as they're waking up right now, it's uh, pretty cold there. It's going to be in the upper 30s in that area right now. But it's going to be getting nice and warmer. This is going to be great, great weather we're going to see here. In fact, it's going to be, I'm going to call it a terrific Thursday. And then a breezy Friday as winds are starting to come in ahead of our wintry weekend. And then we've got a colder temperatures ahead after that. It's the stuff we're going to be following here all over ABC 4 as we're trying to make sure that we get exactly the most accurate information uh, information for you. Not much going on right now as our satellite is searching uh, the radars or roaming around trying to find some stuff, but Let's tell you what they are going to be finding here pretty soon. See, we've got these high pressure systems that have been keeping us nice and warm and keeping things very calm and dry. But those are going to be, well, kind of moving on a little bit. And then we're going to see stuff coming from the from the uh, northwest as it's coming in. You can see uh, right behind this cold front to coming in here, a lot of that wet weather coming. And by the time we get into Saturday, well, we're going to be looking at quite the storms all up and down the Wasatch Front into the mountains where we'll be seeing snow. But then as that temperature gets colder, that snow is going to be working its way down the mountain a little bit. We're going to be checking to see exactly how low that's going to go, but it is a good chance to get on the benches and then might even see some rain snow mix along our valley floor as we're going through. Now that's Sunday AM. That's going to be continuing on, but then after that, that's where the cold weather starts to come in with that cold front. Going to be great uh, tomorrow, mild and breezy, but then as we get into Saturday, like I said, we go into 66 for our, our temperature. Going to be get, getting a lot colder. Those stronger winds are going to be hitting. We'll see winds around 25 miles an hour. We'll see that valley rain mountain and snow and then Sunday much cooler. It's going to be breezy. Scattered showers continuing. Should see rain uh, along in the northern. Good chance we can see that most of the week coming up. So it's going to be colder, wetter. But even with that, our 6 to 10 day precipitation outlook, only a little bit above normal as uh, what we're looking for. So we'll see if we can get a little bit more out of that. But it is going to be cold. This is where we are finally out of the above average and into below average. We're going to be seeing that for quite a while. It's going to feel a lot more like November coming up than October. And uh, we've got a fire alert going on. Well, I'm telling you about all this cold and wet, and then I tell you about a fire. This is Utah area we live in here. Now, this is in the uh, Wyoming uh, district here right now, but it's going to be crossing that border. If anything happens with all the breezes going on, of course, we're going to see that in Utah. So we're going to be watching out for that. In fact, pretty sure they're going to make a red flag warning into Utah here pretty soon. But our regional forecast looking very nice right now into the 70s as we are moving on. If we want to pinpoint that even further, you can find your favorite city here, 60s, 70s throughout most of northern Utah. Mostly we're in the 70s as we get into central Utah and then we'll actually see some 80s tomorrow. Or I mean today, excuse me, St. George at 83. But going along in our uh, southern area. St. George, you see that temperature is going to be dropping quite a bit as they've got a slight chance for some PM showers on Saturday and then into Sunday. They'll be spared most of this as this will be across the our state, but we're going to see some rain and snow showers on Sunday along the Wasatch Front and look at that drop from 66 on Saturday and then it just drops all the way down to 49. Slight chances of rain throughout most of this coming week or those temperatures are going to be in the 50s for most of it. Our drive looking very nice right now as we are in a very good traffic flow. We like to see that and if you are going to be making your way, getting in your car, and you're going to be going, let's just say, along Bangor. Well, things are looking real good there. You can make your drive safe. Just give yourself the extra time and drive safe. And if you want to know what's going on with the weather, the Pinpoint Weather app will tell you all about it. You can download it from the App Store, Google Play. Use the QR codes right there, and you'll have the weather in your hand. Enjoy.